Hey guys, in today's video, we're creating something amazing, an AI-powered CV builder using Next.js, Sand for state management, OpenAI for the AI features, and Framer Motion to give it a bit of life. Get ready to code along and build something incredible together. So this CV builder is a simple one-page app, which will do the following. You enter all the all the details here and then on the right hand side you're gonna see a live preview of it where you actually start filling out all your information and you give it a role that you're applying for then you can hit generate summary and then the ai will take care of you and it has a nice streaming option so you can see everything being done in front of your eyes. For our tech stack, I think Next.js it's the easiest choice, easiest to set up. Zustand is basically hooks, and who doesn't love hooks? OpenAI, it's what's most commonly used, and GPT-4 is still the most powerful mo model out there. And Framer Motion, just look at this. This is one line, literally one line of code. You can't really beat that. Now, for the initial setup, you can just go to my GitHub, you're gonna see a next template there, fork it, use it as a template, and then you basically have the starting point, same as me. Let's start out by installing Zustand and setting up the store, and then we have something to work with. After it's done installing, let's create a folder called store, I already have it created and then let's create a folder called the cv.ts in here we just need to import create from zustand and then we need to create the initial hook which is gonna be const use cv store and then it's going to be a create function and this create function we will have some initial values so our CV is going to have a first name, a last name, role applying, description, age, email, phone, address, links, skills, experiences, educations and languages and <clears throat> to make everything a lot easier and to skip the typing out part of this let's make this now from n2 and same here from n2 so this is our cv type and then this create is actually a generic and then we can use it as such and then here we will have one extra function it's called set cv which is going to take a cv and it's going to return void now we need to add defaults for all our values so all the strings are going to be an empty string the age the age is going to be zero then all the arrays are gonna be empty arrays and so on and so forth. I'm gonna speed up this process and then come back when it's done. Now that we have this, our, our UCV store still expects one more function, which is the set CV function. And this actually takes the CV and then we map the actual state and then we want to spread the current state and the current TV that we actually have as an argument. So it's a sort of a general usage. So no matter if we want to update the first name, the role applying, the skills, we can do this because we just pass in the skills and then we just spread them here. And lastly, we just need to export use CV store. After this is done, we are going to need to create our sidebar. 
the sidebar lives here inside our main and for now because we're not going to be adding the children let's just create a sidebar component and let's put it here and import it as such and now we have our nice sidebar to actually make it work let's set the display as grid and then let's give it for now a grid calls two so now we have one grid that's taking half of the size another grid that's having taking the second half inside the sidebar let's use our ucv store and get the cv and the set CV. And now we have our entire state and uh, we can start creating our form. Now, for this, because we're gonna be using a sidebar and it's gonna have an inner scroll due to the width and everything, uh, I'm gonna install shed UI scroll area and for this we just do npx shed cn UI latest scroll area and and I just missed this one a bit it's add scroll area and instead of this div we're just gonna replace this with the scroll area. And for this to work, we need to give it a, an we need to give it a class name of height full. Maximum height should be dynamic viewport height, so it's not gonna take into consideration this part and on mobile the top bar or the bottom bar depending on the OS. Uh, the call span we're gonna deal with that a bit later but we need to give it a fixed dimension we need to give it bottom zero and we want to give it 600 pixel width and now let's take care of our layout so in here the grid calls is gonna be 12 and then inside this part we actually want to make our section so our main page to do this grid call so we want to give it a calls start And we want to make it start from the fifth column. And let's remove this navbar. And now we can see here our sidebar is taking basically four, four columns. And then the start building, so the main CV preview, is going to take the rest, the rest of them. Now that we have the actual scroll scroll area, let's do the following. To make it a bit easier to see what we're actually doing, let's give it a BG of let's do slate 800. And now this is going to be our workspace. And let's give it the text of white. And this is going to be our contrast color. In here, because it is a sidebar, we will use the aside tag. And let's give this one a padding of 8. And now we can see that we have a little bit of padding and a little bit of space. 
let's wrap everything inside of a form even though we're not going to be using a form and let's give this a space y of 6 so we want to give each element on the top and bottom a bit of space between them because we are using form elements we will need to install the input and the label and the text area now that they're installed we can just create a div and give it a space of y of 2 and let's add a label and this will be for the first name and then let's add an input and we can see that TypeScript is actually using this correctly but the only thing that I think it is missing and now let's change here the color of the actual text so that we can actually see it let's make it text slate 900 and now when we type something we can see that our set is working now of course that we will need to repeat this entire process for all the elements and it's not a particularly interesting task to see and I think you already know how to do this stuff so what I'm gonna focus on is uh, to create a handle input change function which we can use for all the inputs and this will be either a, for an input element or for a text area element let's take the name and the value from the target and then we just want to set the CV and we want to give it the previous CV and then name and value now without repeating myself I'm just gonna speed up a bit the process and see we see you when we get to the actual more complicated input like the multi add one okay I've continued with all the other elements so I just added the role applying for description email phone and address and for all of them I just have this on change handle input change so nothing different to what we've previously done 